Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel for everyone's favorite segment, What's in Your Bag? Now, if you're new to the channel, this is a series made up of videos sent in by you, uh, where you take apart your Pelican case, your gig bag, or your toolkit, and you show us all what you're carrying. I get a lot of requests for more of these videos, new episodes, and I can only make as many as you send in. It's super easy and you can even shoot it on your cell phone. Just find a spot with some good lighting, uh, set up your Pelican case, unpack it, show us what you got. Do the best that you can with the audio and link me those files uh, through something like Dropbox and I'll edit it all together. If you prefer not to appear on camera, that's fine too. You can stand behind the camera and just show us what's going on. So hopefully everybody feels Feels comfortable submitting a video if they want to. And if I do end up using your video in a future episode, I'll send you a $20 Amazon gift card to help uh, replenish some of your expendables. So thanks a whole bunch to Zach for sending this one in. It's a really unique look at the way he carries the gear that he actually needs. He doesn't seem to be carrying a whole lot of stuff just for no reason. Everything's really well thought out and he's willing to get rid of stuff, as you'll see, that isn't being used anymore, which I think is a really healthy approach to not ending up carrying way too much with you all the time. So take a look, check it out, and be sure to leave Zach a question down below if you see anything in there that you're interested about or want more information on. As I've said before, this is absolutely my favorite part. I wish I could do this every week, so please send in more videos. It's a real pleasure to get to turn the channel over right now to Zach. I've had some people ask uh, for kind of a list of what I carry every single day, um, whether I'm out on the road, out on a tour, or if I'm doing a corporate show, or I'm doing like a local rock band, or whatever the case is. Um, this is just kind of an overview of like the gear I carry every day with me. Usually all of this stuff stays in my car, um, mainly the Pelican and this bag right here. Um, stay in my car all the time. This is like my everyday carry backpack um, And I'll go through each one of these. I'm not gonna go through this one. This is just a 511 um, It's actually a concealed carry bag, but this just has clothes uh, an extra pair of sunglasses a rain jacket I'm not gonna go through that because that's boring Cool, let's start with my backpack So that's more fun this backpack I actually don't know what it is. I think it's like a e-bags is what it says. It's on Amazon. I'll send a link to it, maybe, if I can find one. But it's cool, it's super slim. You can see the side profile. It's pretty slim. I used to carry the Mono Flyby, um, which was nice. But it, after a while, it kind of got heavy because it has a lot of pockets and a lot of room to put a lot of crap in. So I put a lot of crap in it and it got heavy. Um, I've only had this bag for a little bit of time and uh, I'm packing it just about as full as you can get. So I'll walk you guys through it, um, tell you what I carry. It's got these L zip pockets, which are pretty cool. And it's also my favorite part is this orange, this orange insert on the inside. First thing is a 2015 MacBook Pro. Um, I hate dongles, so I'm not gonna switch until I absolutely have to. Next is, oop, don't want that to fall, is my laptop charger with this little charging thing from Sidewinder. Uh, this thing is sweet, but uh, that's all that's in this kind of big compartment right now. Um, next is this little hidden compartment. I just have an iPad in here. This is just the regular iPad, uh, I think it's the sixth generation. And then I have a little pen loop for my stylus. But uh, that's all that's in there. It's pretty deep and it's felted too, so you don't have to worry about scratching up your screen. Um, next, oh, the crap is falling out already. I have some ethernet cables and a power cord for my wireless router. This is just a uh, Apple Airport. Um, I'm actually a big fan of that, believe it or not. That's That thing has been great to me. Uh, next, I have a notepad. Uh, I've got some input list notes on here for a band I'm doing this week. Uh, just advancing the show. Then I have this kind of, this is a toiletry bag, actually. I'll run you guys through a little bit what's in here. Uh, a laser. 
This is the Lico. Lieco? Liso? I don't know. It's a laser. It's just a distance laser. So it'll tell you. It'll tell you how far distances are away from. Uh, I use this for mainly just um, tuning PAs, getting everything time aligned correctly, you know, stuff like that. Um, what else is in here? Oh, this right here. Every file I've ever done on any console is on these. So I have X32s. I have Avid, my Wave stuff lives on there. QL, CL, Digicos, Midas, M7s, TFs, uh, Pro Tools, iLock. Um, this is just like, I use this for whatever, presentations and stuff a client gives me. And then the wonderful 5D, and it actually has some 1D files on there too. But yep, this thing has every file I've ever used ever on these flash drives. Love them. This video was made possible in part by my good friend Baz the Roadie. He's out on tour right now, and you can follow along at Baz, B A Z, the roadie.com. But when he's not on tour in the off season, he does awesome seminars about touring life, uh, pro audio on the road. And you want to be sure to catch those if you're in the Pacific Northwest. So hit Baz, the roadie.com for more info and dates. He's going to be announcing his fall schedule very soon. Reach out to him and let him know if you're interested in that kind of a seminar about touring. Pro Audio, BazTheRoadie.com. Thanks for all the support, Baz. And then a uh, little LTI laptop interface. Get you a quarter inch to uh, XLR. You know, gives you a nice little easy way to get some uh, uh, aux, aux out. And then last is my 64 ears. Um, I love these. These are the 18 drivers. They're the A18Ts. Uh, so they have the little Tia driver. Um, if you don't know anything about 64 Audio or their in-ears, you should look them up because these things are incredibly sounding. I mix monitors with them. I mix broadcast mix with them. Uh, I've even mixed front of house with them in like bad situations where I've been like under balconies and stuff. I love these things. I highly recommend them. Plus they put my name on the case and that's cool. Sweet. So, uh, last thing in this little pocket, in the second pocket is this bag. Just one of those sure bags that come with all the microphones. And I'll walk you guys through what's in these. Lots and lots of audio adapters. So I have female turnaround, female turnaround. Uh, this is a pair of 30 dB pads. You can never have enough of these. These just knock, you know, line level signals down to mic level or, you know, whatever the case is. You just have something really hot. Tons of Ys. You'll notice I have probably eight Ys in my everyday carry stuff. Another set of Ys. And they're both ways. They're male to female, female to male. Here's another female turnaround, male turnaround, male turnaround, another Y, female turnaround, a uh, little male to uh, TRS. And then another male turnaround. Lots and lots of turnarounds on this bag. Turn uh, you can never have enough of these things. I don't know how many times these have saved my shows. Without a doubt, it has just been incredible. Lastly, we have uh, we have two more pockets left in this bag. Uh, I'll do this little one down here first. Uh, down here, I have a USB cable for my Scarlett Focusrite 2i2, my Focusrite Scarlett. This thing is mainly used for tuning PAs. Um, I have my sticker on it. Uh, that's it, uh, that's all I use this thing for. You'll see in my Pelican, I actually carry a different audio interface for recur recording. Um, uh, this one is pretty much set and ready to go for uh, tuning PAs. Like I'll do my reference mic here and then my uh, like console feed here. Um, I have used this as a left to right record out of the console. I don't like to do that. If I can multi-track at a Dante or whatever the case is, I'd much rather do that. But this thing is a workhorse. I think I paid 70 bucks for it and it I've had it for like six years and it still works. So that's that thing. Um, and then lastly, we have this big pocket. There's actually a pocket right here, but there's nothing in there. I usually just put like boarding passes, my passport, whatever the case is in that. And then 
This pocket, I love this backpack for this reason. Look at all these freaking compartments. So I got business cards for both myself and one of the companies I work for. I have a hard drive for, I think this is a three terabyte hard drive. That's just to record audio, whatever the case is. I have, um, <laughs> this is awesome. This is an iPhone 4S that, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to turn it on. Oh, it is turning on. This thing I just use as like an iPod for like house music or whatever, it is incredible. It works perfectly for what I use it for. And I have a little splitter if I want to split the signal, give it to a record feed or whatever the case is. I've actually used that splitter a lot more than I probably use this iPod. This thing takes forever to turn on, so I'm not gonna wait for it to turn on. And then um, I have a little case here for some medical stuff that I have. And then lots of pens. Stylus, uh, I carry extra stylus because I love stylus. Oh, and then probably one of the most used things in this bag is the Dave Rat Sniffer Sender. So this thing, basically the, uh, what is this? The sender, this is the XLR sender. This sends a phantom signal down your XLR chain. And then this side reads it to make sure all your pins are right. So if you plug it in, you can see you're sending it. You can see all your pins are right. This thing has saved my show more than I know. I love this thing, and I wanna buy like three or four more of these because they are incredible. Yeah, they're, I highly recommend. 10 out of 10, would recommend. That's it for this bag. Uh, let's get the Pelican right, out. Pelican 1510. This thing is a behemoth. Um, this is the biggest Pelican that you can carry on to an airplane. That's why I bought it. Um, and after I bought it, I realized I really never am gonna carry this onto an airplane. So I wish I would've bought a bigger one, but oh well. This thing does the job that it needs to do, and I'll uh, walk you guys through it. I guess I'll start over here. I have an Eno hammock. Those of you who are road dogs, you know festival season cannot ha happen without a good hammock. This is what makes, you know, hard days become not as hard days. Um, some console tape, board tape. I like the really super thin stuff. Oh, it just makes my life so much happier. Um, and tape too, I have some fluorescent gaff that gets used to spike whatever. Um, this is the other interface I was talking about. This is an Apollo Twin um, by Universal Audio. If you, I mean, most of you guys probably know what these things are. I've only had this for a couple months. And I have to say, this thing blows the scarlet out of the water for sure. I love it. It's amazing. And uh, while we're on that note, I'll show you. I actually have an audio loom. So I have a loom made that's basically, yeah. it gives me both TRS, Thunderbolt, and power. So that way I can just plug this right into the back. And then I get XLR on the other end. I get my wall wart and... Uh, my other Thunderbolt is somewhere out right here. But yeah, uh, I have this all loomed together. It's all taped, so it looks nice and pretty. And I don't lose cables. They all stay together. I like to loom things. Uh, I loom things quite often. But, oh, my camera was super out of focus. Oh, that's so much better. Hopefully it wasn't like that through this whole video. That would suck. Anyways, um, this is a Cat5. Actually, I think this is a Cat6. I don't know. It's an Amazon Basics. That's all I know. You can never have enough Cat5. Um, save my shows often with, uh, you know, Sure Wireless Workbench or whatever the case is. Um, I have a power cord for, um, like, an Apple. I usually carry a Mac Mini in here. And this little, you can see these little pockets. I actually got these two pockets from my buddy Corey, who some of you guys might know Corey. He, Corey Norris, he's the uh, front of house guy for King's Kaleidoscope, and he also does, like, I think he's an LED tech for Cole Swindell. He's like on the Cole Swindell Luke Bryan tour right now. Lucky duck, I like Luke Bryan. I have a shorty XLR. This is usually just to go from the console into the interface for like recording, or not recording, but uh, tuning. I have another Cat5, this is a Cat5e, real short one. That's, you know, more for Dante stuff. Uh, another Cat5. Um, I have, <laughs> 
This is a PG-48 that is spray painted neon glow-in-the-dark orange. I know what you're thinking, but this microphone has been stolen so many times and it's been replaced so many times. And it's just my, this is my monitor talkback mic or uh, my like front of house talkback. So I don't really care how it looks. It's not really for looks. It's more of just for use and so it doesn't get stolen. I mean, I would know if someone took this. Like, this thing glows in the dark. It's pretty sweet. I love it. Uh, this is my, one of my reference mics. This is the one I usually take out on the road with me. It's a Dayton Audio. I know, it's like some Amazon thing. Oop, and things are dropping out of my bag now. Um, it's on like a little short stand, so I can set it on the console. But again, it's on an LO2, so it's like quick release. Super cool. Um, this thing, you know, it, it gets the job done. I don't really have much complaints about it. Uh, it, it does what it needs to do. Um, let's see, moving on, I have a DI. Um, it's just regular quarter inch to XLR DI. Um, some batteries, some double A's, an extra set of Shure headphones. These are the 535s. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, 535s. Um, I almost never use these because I always use my 64 audio ones, but uh, it's always good to have a backup. You know, you're not prepared unless you have a backup for your backup. Um, I have a bunch of different dongles and stuff. I told you I hated dongles, but I have some. A lot of these are like Cat5 to Thunderbolt, HDMI to Thunderbolt. Um, I think what else is in here. Bunch of crap. Um, I also have one of these Behringer PM1s so I can like use it as a Q if I need to so I don't have to use a Q wedge. I hate Q wedges with a dying passion. I also have an ISO block. Gets rid of some buzz and hum. Sometimes, not all the time. Um, and then <laughs> a little wall wart and more Y cables because I have this weird fascination with freaking Y cables, I guess weird an rs i think this is called an rs22 i'm not actually sure i don't ever really use it this is all for, for the uh, dbx dry racks it's like it looks like a vga but it's actually not it's like a R, i think it's an rs22 but it's to usb uh it only works with windows and i used to run boot camp but now i don't so i don't even really know why i still carry this because it sucks um then i have tools well actually up here i have the Oholi voltage meter. Can't go leave home without that thing. And then I have some tools. I have like a little electric screwdriver. This thing's cool because I have a gyroscope in it. So you can like... Anyways, that's cool. Uh, I have the case for my sniffer sender. I don't know why it's in here. I think I put it in here because it has the, the codes on the back. And I didn't want to rip that sticker off. Um, but I should just buy another one. So that way I can have two. A uh, little socket kit, I guess it's not socket, bit kit, I guess that's what that's called. Cat5 tester. This tells you like, you know, if you have all your pins. Moving on, headlamp, uh, tri-tap. Gotta have power all the time. Um, then a bunch of like, I have a, a, a ground lift, a pair of pliers, um, wire strippers, a weird screwdriver, um, I said that, uh, was a solder, um, C-wrench, monkey wrench, whatever y'all call them, and then just regular hand, screwdriver, Phillips and flathead, and then some, uh, electrical tape. I think that's it. Oh, there's an SDI barrel here. Believe it or not, I do some video. Not much, but I do some. Well, that's it. That is all of my gear and all of my gear bags. And uh, yeah, hope you guys got something out of this. And uh, hopefully, you know, you're able to uh, add to your gear bag or make stuff better. Man, the focus on this video has been so bad. I need to get a better camera. Oh, well. All right, I'm going to end this now. 
that's it. Thanks again to Zach for sending that in and to everybody who supports the channel, who watches the videos and uh, who goes to dcsoundoff.com regularly and follows those affiliate links either in the description below or on the website. That's a huge help in supporting what's going on on the channel. And also you've probably noticed some more logos, different companies, and especially Pro Sound Web being involved in these videos. There's a lot more exciting stuff coming up in the future with everybody involved, uh, of course, but I just want to say for now a huge thank you to those folks for supporting the channel and getting involved and helping to make more of these videos. It really is a, a huge privilege to get to do this. And unfortunately, it does cost a little bit of money to do a lot of this stuff. And, you know, things happen all over the world. Gear is expensive. Uh, we're, you know, this isn't a get rich quick kind of adventure, but it, it does cost a couple bucks to make this kind of stuff happen. So thanks to everybody that's that's contributed to that in any way it's absolutely crazy to get to be a uh, part of sharing what's going on in the, the industry with everybody watching at home and i hope i can continue to do that uh, justice as we go forward and we continue to grow Great to see all the new uh, supporters on Patreon and on Facebook and on Instagram and subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, it's incredible. Can't wait to keep growing. I'll see you in the next video.